Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brooke and today we're going to be unboxing the June phone. So my phone really arrived this morning and I cannot wait to get inside so let's get straight into it. If you don't know, Fairyloo is a UK based YA fantasy book subscription box and I get it. I've been getting it just for over a year now and I have loved it so far so let's see what's inside. So here is the spoiler card and the theme this month is Rebels in Ball Gowns. I'm not going to look at this just yet because I don't want to be spoiled for the goodies that are in this box so let's just put this to the side. So the first thing I see is this candle. It says cover it and I don't know what this is from so let's just have a look. This candle is made by Gigi Clean and it is from Nevernight by Jay Kristoff which I haven't read yet but it does sound really good and I have been thinking about getting it so maybe. Mmm that smells good. That smells really good. Unfortunately it doesn't say what the smell is and I am not good at naming scents but it smells very very good. It's very strong. Oh it's on the lid. It's on the lid. Strawberry and pepper. It's strawberry and pepper. Mmm, that's good. It's very, I'll say, autumnal scent, but I love it, so let's just put it down there. Next, I see this little fairy box, which, first of all, just the box itself is adorable. I am definitely keeping this just to put little trinkets in. That's adorable. Let's open it up. Oh, okay. Okay, that's really cute. That is really really cute and beautiful so here we've just got this little necklace let me just get closer to the camera for you we've got this little necklace of this mask with the gems on it and this is gorgeous i am definitely going to be wearing this let's see what this is based on who made this it is not based on any particular book but obviously masquerade balls are a theme in certain fantasy books so that is, I love it. I love it. I love it. So the next item we have, let's just pull it out. Oh, if this is based on what I think it is, I am very happy. So let's just open it up. We have this gorgeous, gorgeous pillowcase with red and black and gold detailing. And it says, your future can be whatever you wish. We all have the power to choose our own destiny and I believe this is from Caraval. It says like Stephanie Garber legendary on these playing cards. I guessed as much when I saw the design. It is gorgeous. I am going to have to find a pillow to put this on because oh my god it's so beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I'm just like fangirling over this now. Let's see what it says about it on the spoiler card. So, get your reading look ready for the stunning exclusive Destiny cushion cover designed by Miss Fee. This cushion cover features a quote from Legendary by Stephanie Garber, a story filled with rebels and ball gowns. And we think this quote is just so true. We love the tarot card detailing in the corners too. I get this much. So this is from Legendary, which I am currently listening to on Audible. And I am loving it so far. I loved Caraval, the first book in this series. And oh, I love it. So the next item we have here is this little iron-on patch and this says it's always the fear of looking stupid that stops you from being awesome and I'll just see that up close. Let me take it out of the packaging so it's less shiny. There it is up close and it is this gorgeous design on it. Oh it's beautiful. I am loving this box so far in case you can't tell. Next we have these Shatter Me bookmarks by Tarisha Art who is the artist of Fairy Loop spoiler cards and these are from the Shatter Me series. I'll just take out the packaging so you can get a better look. So here they are up close. Um, this is Juliet I'm assuming. I don't know who the other two are called. I have read the first book in the Shatter Me series and I did love it but for reasons I don't feel like I'm going to read the rest of the series. Um, maybe I'll go and about that more in another video if you want to know let me know down below. But I did love that book, it was great. Artwork is beautiful so yeah these are quite cute. Next we have this little publishing extra book swag for Sea Witch which is one of my most anticipated books of the year. I think it's just a chapter sampler. It's very interesting. <gasps> so I <laughs> I just unfolded it and I believe on this side 
we have a little chapter sampler and then we just have a little thing about Sea Witch, how you can win a copy. Then on this side, there's this stunning Sea Witch poster of the cover and it is gorgeous. This is an Ursula retelling from The Little Mermaid and I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put this because this is gorgeous. Oh, look at it. That's, that's exciting. That's really exciting. I don't think I've ever been excited, that excited for a extra book swag publishing item before so there we go oh this this is exciting i've just seen what it is oh this is really exciting so here we have a reading journal and this is by this is by Stella's bookish art and this is for the next six months of the year july to december 2018 and on here it's got this beautiful design it just says reading journal let's just have a look inside so on the first page it has where you, the Sweden Journal belongs to and then a place you can put all of your like usernames. So we've got YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, a blog maybe, I think. I don't know what this little camera item is. I'm guessing it's a blog. That makes sense to me, that's what I'm going to put there anyway. <gasps> oh my god. This is stunning, guys. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. They better be doing these for like the next... In January when this runs out they better be doing another one of these because oh my god I can't right now guys this box has been so good and this item oh okay well here we go so I should probably tell you why I'm so excited okay so I opened it up and it's just got this beautiful quote page and it has a quote from Caraval and it says every person has the power to change their fate if they're brave enough to vote for what they deserve more than anything and then obviously it starts with July 2018 and it has a month at a glance so you can just write down things that are happening a month at a glance and then it has books I read in July right here and then it has a books I read so then you can put down the book title of the author when you started it when you finished it and the rating and then what books you want to buy how much it is and if you've actually bought it or not so that's really helpful then you have a favourite quotes page right here. You have a weekly planner so you can just put like all of your events and stuff that's going on. I'm probably going to like try and plan my YouTube, my Instagram, my blog. You just have a notes at the end of the month. And then a random thought so you can just like doodle. You have another quote page, this one's from Raw. And then it goes the same for August. I'm not going to show you the whole book because that would take forever. But then, something I saw when I was flicking through, so at the end of December we have 2018's Top Reads, where you can write down all the best reads of the year, and then we have an anticipated 2019 reads, so you can write down which books you're looking forward to reading next year. In case you can't tell already, I am in love with this. This is exactly what I needed because I have tried bullet journaling. So with this one, hopefully I'll stick to it because obviously I don't have to like draw the pages out myself. But it has everything that I wanted. It has month at a glance, it has the weekly planner, it has the books I've read, the books I want to buy, it has everything. And it's beautiful and it has beautiful quote pages. And oh my god, I'm so happy I have this. <laughs> I think this is my favourite item I've ever received in a fairy earlier. And I didn't think anything could be that pillowcase we just received, but this, I love it. So next we have the book of the month and I'm just going to open this up and see what's inside. So the book of the month is Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. I have never heard of this book before but the cover is absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. Oh my god. Beautiful. And it says not all prisons have bars. So let's just have a look what this is about. What I can understand is about two sisters, Serena and Nomi, or Nomi, I don't know how you say her name. It's based in a world where women have no rights and it is dual perspective between the two sisters. And Serena has spent her time in the palace, I believe, and has spent her whole life preparing to become a grace who stands by the heir of the, to the throne as a shining example of the perfect woman but then her headstrong and rebellious younger sister has a dangerous secret and one wrong move could cost both sisters everything. This seems like a great feminist novel that I am so excited to read. Um, it sounds amazing, I'm so excited to read this and the end pages are gorgeous. And then look at the, look at that, it says not all prisons have bars which is the tagline and it's gorgeous. Oh my god, and then it's got the silhouette on the back. 
I just want to put that on my bookcase without the cover. Okay, that's really exciting. So I was just reading the spoiler card. I have just finished filming this video, but I am just inserting this clip here quickly because I forgot to mention that this book is an exclusive folio edition. The UK cover is only available on paperback, which means we've got exclusive hardback cover with the exclusive art underneath, which I showed you earlier. And this book is coming out at the end of July, so we have it a month earlier than the publication date, which is so exciting. It means we get to read it and review it before anyone else gets to read it, so it's exclusive to us, which is amazing. I love it, so thanks very much, Bailey. That's it. Back to the main video. <laughs> okay, this is really exciting, and I'm definitely going to try and read it as soon as I can. I hope I explained that well enough to you guys. Obviously, I don't really know what it's about since I haven't read it myself. But it sounds amazing, it sounds great, and it's not too long, like the past two books from Foley have been quite big, which I find with, I love big books, um, but it's nice to, you know, have a change of pace, and a shorter book, it's only got about 310 pages, so this should be a fairly quick read. I'll be getting into this one very soon, hopefully. We've got all the stuff that came with the book, we have the monthly bookmark that Foley always include, which includes the uh, spoiler card art by Tarjo Art. Then we have our reading buddy code, so mine is hashtag mybuddy001494, so if you're my reading buddy, let me know. We have the signed book plate to stick into the book. We have this little Grace and Fury bookmark right here, which is gorgeous. It has the cover on it, it says fire, breathe, water, burn, stars lead the way, your sister is here. Then we have a letter from the author and on the back we just have the two sisters i presume which is gorgeous i love this a lot and then we have the fairy scoop which fairly includes every month and this is just like the little monthly newsletter so it has the theme of the month it has an interview with the author what books to read next and then next month's theme is the power within which i will be getting obviously because i'm never giving up my fairy subscription. So next month's theme is the power within and they will be having a magic ceramic mug which is very exciting. I will link fairy loot's website down below if you want to get your own subscription because this box was amazing. My instagram and twitter and blog and everything will also be down below if you want to see more of me. If you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any more of my videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!